Welcome back guys, this is the cheapest kitchen island I could find at Ikea and today we'll be taking an in-depth look to see if it would fit your kitchen. If you shop at Ikea for furniture, you know what to do. Click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of our furniture review videos. So let's start from the top and work our way down. The countertop has a classic plank look to it as it's made up of particle board and covered in oak veneer. It's pre-treated at the factory with hard wax oil so everything is protected when it comes out of the box. A couple problems that may arise is that over time, the wood will start to wear and dry out. To counteract these problems, the countertop can be sanded down to get rid of any surface scratches and can be protected with stockyard wood treatment to keep it shine. When cleaning the worktop, you'll need to use water or a non-abrasive dish detergent. The worktop is 28.5 inches in length and 20.5 inches in width. This island will be a great addition to your kitchen if you have a small amount of space and need a bit more workroom or storage. The next level of the Tornviken kitchen island is a small drawer you'll have enough space to put large items like tongs and big spoons or even a whole set of cutlery. I really like how smooth the drawer opens and how the drawer closes softly, but I did notice some movement from side to side. Overall, the drawer creates a feeling that it's of better quality when comparing them to the other drawers that we reviewed at IKEA. This kitchen island also comes with a middle storage compartment. I really like this open concept feature due to the fact that there's a limited amount of space on the countertop. If you're busy cutting up some vegetables, you won't really have that much space for bowls or plates, so you can use this space as extra storage. It functions really well as a place to store ready-made meals as this open concept will create less traffic in the kitchen. The final storage compartment has only one access point and could be really useful to store pots and pans that are used on a daily basis. The height of this IKEA kitchen island is 35 and a half inches and found it to be really sturdy. It's also pretty heavy as it weighs about 90 pounds. IKEA provides you with a couple safety measures so the kitchen island won't tip over. You can either secure the legs to the floor and ruin it, or install hardware and secure it to the air. Anyways, for safety reasons, always make sure the kitchen island is secured so it can't tip over. If you don't like this grey color, you also have the option of getting an off-white for the same price. It took me about 1 hour and 12 minutes to finish the whole assembly, and if you're transporting the packages yourself, the dimensions of the first package is 29 and 3 quarter inches in length, 21 and a quarter inches in width, and 4 and a quarter inches tall. The second package dimensions are 34 and 3 quarter inches in length, 21 and a half inches in width, and 5 inches in height. If you're interested, you can purchase this Tornrukin Kitchen Island for $299 Canadian or $249 American. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.